Oklahoma means land of the red person, uh, the land of the red man. And one in four Oklahomans will claim to be a Native American. Uh, one in eight are Native Americans. Here in Oklahoma, the race to fill Tom Coburn's Senate seat this November has put the spotlight on an increasingly powerful minority group. Nobody cared about Native Americans, nobody worried about Native Americans until they got money. If he can earn the Republican nomination in Oklahoma's June primary, T.W. Shannon could be the second enrolled Native American elected to the Senate in nearly 100 years. I believe that our tribes are an asset to this state, and, and, and I don't have any problem being a respecter of tribal sovereignty, but you know, I'm an American first. Mr. Shannon, who is both African American and Native American, is gaining support from Republicans who see him as the new face of a more diverse Republican party. At the same time, his ethnicity has made him a target. What you're talking about is a good old-fashioned race bait. Okay, that's always the argument that is brought against a minority candidate, is they're not really representing the constituency, they're representing their constituency in the constituency. And in fact, Mr. Shannon's candidacy has prompted a few comments about his loyalty to the United States government. Yeah, the, I mean, th those comments are obviously hurtful. To imply that, that, that somehow the people, because of their heritage, right. they're any less Oklahomans, right. um, you know, that sets this state back, that sets our nation back, you know, 150 years. I think, that, but the good news is, I don't think that, that that comment represents the majority of Oklahomans. Mr. Shannon, who is the former Oklahoma State House Speaker, has support from some members of the Oklahoma legislature, including State Senator David F. Holt. I'm a registered Osage Indian. Um, people don't necessarily perceive me that way, probably because of my appearance, but, um, but I think that's an example of, of sort of uh, the, the ties between the Indian world and, and the Anglo world are, are complicated and there are people in the state probably who resent the success of the of the Indian gaming. Tribes are now collectively the third largest employer in the state and they um, you know represent over 12 billion dollars worth of economic activity in Oklahoma. The Shannon campaign has received thousands of dollars directly from Native American tribal members in Oklahoma, money partly derived from some of the 110 Indian casinos that dot the state's landscape. Money has also come from Native American tribes outside the state, and indirectly from third-party groups running ads in support of Mr. Shannon. People who invest in my campaign, they invest because they've bought into my beliefs, they've bought into my positions, not necessarily that I've bought into theirs. There's a difference. To me, our challenge is not our message as much as it is our messengers. We need people that can relate um, to the average American. And the average American is not the average American from 1955. And it sort of sends a signal, look, it's okay, you can be Native American, you can be African American, uh, and you can still be Republican and a very conservative Republican at the same time. So I think that's something as a national party we need. Recent rally in Tulsa, Mr. Shannon had support from not just Sarah Palin, but also Senators Ted Cruz of Texas and Mike Lee of Utah. Our freedoms are under assault, but it stops today. It seems like we don't even have the freedom anymore to have private phone conversations. Who here actually thinks the federal government should be snooping on innocent Americans? When I was Speaker of the House, I called for the repeal of Common Core in Oklahoma, and as Senator, I will fight against Common Core every single day to see that it's repealed and it is not the law of the land. The Tea Party has embraced Mr. Shannon, despite the fact that his main opponent, James Langford, was himself a Tea Party darling when he ran for Congress in 2010. What are Oklahomans looking for? Are they looking to have a celebrity? Are they looking for someone to be able to solve the problem? I'm a, I'm a person that's always been irritated with politics, Why? but we have major problems. Well, because it's typically for show, and it's typically not real. You know, every time I say let's reduce the size of the federal government, you know what liberals say? How can we do that? Where do you start? It's too big. There's no way you can do that. You know where I say we can start? Let's abolish the EPA. While bolstered by national GOP support for a more diverse, conservative face, the money received from tribes has certainly boosted Mr. Shannon's campaign locally. 
a combination that may prove difficult for his opponent, Mr. Lankford, to overcome. They've been pretty clear that they want to have a tribal member in the Senate. I think a guy like T.W., in a sense like the President of the United States, shows anything's possible in the United States.